Three of the film's voice actors passed away within four years of the film's release. Francesco Quinn, who voiced Dino, died a little over a month following the film's release, on August 5, 2011, at the age of 48. Several years later, Leonard Nimoy, who voiced Sentinel Prime, passed away on February 7, 2015, at the age of 83. Five months later, George Coe, who voiced K, passed away on July 18, 2015, at the age of 86. This is actually the first film in the series to feature voice actors who have passed away. All of the voice actors from the first, second, fourth, fifth and sixth films are still alive. Though there was some debate over if it be released in 2012. This is what Michael Bay has posted. Well it's official. We have a great Transformers 3 story. The release date is now July 1, 2011. Not 2012. He said this before the release date changed. Bay has stated that this will be the last film in the series. The filming had dealt with many accidents and disasters, such as Bumblebee Camaro totaled by a police vehicle and a stunt driver's horrible accident with a cable, resulting in the 24-year-old woman having permanent brain damage and being partially paralyzed, after which the filmmakers were sued. Part of the scene of the car chase battle in Washington, D.C. is borrowed from the 2005 film The Island, another film by Michael Bay. Bay admitted, stating it was nothing wrong for the energy saving and carbon reduction. On the 9th of July 2011, Transformers, Dark of the Moon, officially broke the record for the fastest ticket sales ever. It reached $500 million in one week, in worldwide sales. Extract from TFW 2005 Dark of the Moon surpasses both Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End and Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides in how fast it took to get to $500 million worldwide. They took 10 days. DOTM took 8. Dark of the Moon survived the upcoming hiccup and reached the $1 billion mark by the end of the summer of 2011, making it the ninth Paramount movie and the first movie of the series ever to hit the $1 billion mark, the other being its sequel. A deep growl is heard at the end of the credits. It was nominated for three Oscars, Best Sound Mixing, Best Sound Editing and Best Visual Effects. All lost to Hugo.